Well, starting on Monday, people will be able to get a fried Beyond Meat product at KFC stores. Um, this is just the latest addition that we have seen to the fast food industry of Beyond Meat products and other faux meat products as well. Peter Soleil is joining us now, BTIG Managing Director, who covers this industry. So, Peter, you know, 2021 fell a little flat for Beyond Meat investors, certainly. The stock really underperformed. Some of the expansions they'd made into fast food didn't quite turn out like they hoped. What is this? Does this bode well that this year is going to be different for the company? Yeah, no, it, it's a good question. Look, I, I think there's uh, the, the issues that Beyond had last year were, you know, primarily in retail. Retail velocity continued to decelerate. There is a lot of competition in the retail, in the grocery aisle uh, for plant-based meat items. When you look at competition, though, in the food service channel, there's a lot less, right? So um, they're going to be moving more into the food service channel. They've got this partnership with Yum. They've got a partnership with McDonald's. Uh, look, it sounds like this is going to be an LTO for KFC. Uh, you know, LTOs run six to eight weeks. Um, so it, it does sound like, you know, they're moving into this food service channel, a lot less competition. Uh, you know, they're a little bit more obviously exclusive there. Um, so I think this is good news for them, although, uh, you know, it, the, the financial impact is rather modest at this point. You know, for KFC, uh, th this partnership here, we think in the first quarter, somewhere between five and $13 million of revenue to beyond, which you know, is still insignificant at this point, but could turn into something more meaningful over time. And you're saying this is a relatively untapped market, uh, especially with respect to these restaurants. We're talking about Young Brands uh, KFC. What's next, a, a chicken fajita here for Taco Bell? I mean, what are the opportunities that you see ahead potentially for Beyond Meat? So I think the, the opportunity is, so, you know, KFC, 4,000 or so domestic restaurants, the LTO is going to be six to eight weeks. Um, after that, if it performs well, I think the opportunity is to go further with KFC and make it a permanent product. At that point, it becomes much more significant in terms of a revenue driver. Uh, I think the opportunity is also with you know McDonald's. So we believe that they're going to do something with McDonald's, not announced yet, but we think it'll be somewhere in the um, LTO range, uh, somewhere in February or, or March. Um, with with McPlant and call it you know 700 800 or so stores. So I think the opportunity is if it performs well as an LTO, uh, I think it becomes a permanent item. If it becomes a permanent me menu item, that's where you start seeing more consistent revenue streams uh, that are much that are much greater than what we're talking about here, which is you know five or ten million dollars. So I think that's really the opportunity. Um, and, and beyond that, I think you can venture into other day parts and other other brands. But I think the initial opportunity uh, is really going from an LTO to a more permanent menu item. Um, Peter, what's the risk that these various chains make their own um, plant-based meats? You know, I, I don't think they're in the business of, of, of really doing that. I think they'd rather partner and, and bring on somebody who's already doing this um, so it, it's it's possible for them to go out and find a different supplier if if Beyond can't give them what they need or what they're looking for. It, it is possible, but um, I, I think at this point, um, you know, Beyond is is doing a good enough job uh, innovating around their products. So um, you know, we we see this partnership with KFC. Look, if if it works and the consumer wants it. Um, and over and it shows performance over the six to eight weeks. It could be more permanent sometime later in 22 or into 23. Um, so you know that's where we see the opportunity at this point, just becoming more permanent or even expanding to mul multiple regions rather than just an LTO uh, for a short period of time. Gotcha. And I should mention as well, by the way, Beyond Meat shares were up as much as what eight nine percent in pre market trading. Now they're up just about two and a half percent. Peter, good to catch up with you. Bon appetit uh, if you get to try this stuff. BTIG Managing Director, Peter Soleil, appreciate it.